Hi everyone and welcome to Ask My Tablet. Didn't have enough for yesterday, so I've got enough today. It works out really good. Okay, our first question. Oh, by the way, if you have a, a device that has A-L-E-X-A -E on it, you may want to mute it so that it doesn't react every time I say the word. Uh, I've got some a uh, couple that were left over from the other day when I ran out of room with jump off A's. Uh, Alexa, can fish fly? Fish oh. are not able to fly. She says fish are not able to fly, but I've heard of a flying fish. So that's a nice picture though, isn't it? Let me get that a little closer. But they don't actually, I don't know, I think they glide like they're not actually, you know, flying, so to speak. They're more like gliding, I think. I could be wrong, but I think so. Okay, where's my pen? Okay, and then this one. Alexa, can fish walk across land? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, generally... No, but there are some species of fish, such as the snakehead fish, that can slither on land to find new bodies of water to use as their habitat. Did so, that answer your question? Yes, thank you. So, when they move, <laughs> basically. Okay, this one here is from P. Bunny McKenzie. Alexa, what is the average lifespan of a dog? A dog lives for about 15 years on average. Oh, look at the poodle. Right. This looks like the poodle that we had one time. Okay. With my parents out here, what? Okay, uh, Alexa, what is the average lifespan of a cat? A cat lives for about 15 years on average. So, about the same with this cute kitty. And this is from these next few are from Vicky G. I appreciate the questions, everyone. Okay, Alexa, what year did Ellis Island open? Ellis Island opened in 1965, making it 56 years old. Is that it before? I thought that was where, uh, oh, it backed it off. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Alexa, what was the deadliest storm in American history? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the Bola cyclone in Bangladesh, East Pakistan, in 1970 resulted in an estimated death toll of 150,000 to 550,000. Well, that wasn't the American end of it, I don't guess, but that's awful. Wow, that was terrible. Um, and that was in when? In 1970. So I don't know if she'll... On American soil. Let's try this. Alexa. What was the deadliest storm on American soil? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the Bola cyclone in Bangladesh, East Pakistan, same in 1970 same, resulted same in an estimated death toll of 150,000 to 550,000. Okay, but it wasn't on American soil. Okay, she doesn't want to work it out there. Okay, what about... Alexa, what year did Star Trek premiere on television? The premiere episode of Star Trek, The Man Trap, first aired on NBC September 8, 1966. The pilot episode, The Cage, was filmed over a year earlier, but didn't air until November 27, 1988. Spock, am I doing okay on my first show? Logically, uh, you are not, Jim. But I must 
be able to make many commercials whenever I retire. So, <laughs> do you like my uh, Captain Kirk, William Shatner uh, <laughs> voice? <laughs> well, okay. Peace, live long and prosper. And he's still making commercials now. Yeah, he's, yeah, William Shatner's still making these commercials all over the place. How about this? Can you do this? How about this? What about this, 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 and this? What about this, 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 and this? Is it like the Vulcan? He was a Vulcan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Leonard Nemo. Alright. Would that be like the Vulcan sign or something? Yeah. It's a peace sign, Vulcan style. Okay. These are from Joe. All right. Uh, Alexa, what classification of animal is a platypus? Platypus is a group of animals, and its scientific name is Ornithorhynchus anatinus. It is taxonomically classified as a species under Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, Order Monotremata, Family Ornithorhynchidae, and Genus Ornithorhynchus. Man, what a long name. But you know what? They're not like really anything else. You know, they're just crazy. Crazy, crazy platypus. It can do, it's like, it's like different, it's like different parts of animals. <laughs> they just put it all together. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Alexa, what is the voltage output of an electric eel? Can you do it? Sorry, something went wrong. Okay. Uh, Alexa, what is the voltage output of an electric eel? Here's something I found on the web. According to amp.org, oh, a large adult electric eel can deliver a charge of up to 650 volts to stun prey, keep away predators, and to help them navigate through muddy water. Wow! 650 volts. And Alexa, what animal has the strongest bite? Here's something I found from World Atlas. Animals with the strongest bites include the crocodile, the alligator, the tiger, and the bear. Crocodile, alligator, tiger, and a, and bear. Hyenas. Yeah, the hyenas do have a, I've heard that before. Okay, uh, Alexa, are catfish venomous? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, no. No, but I tell you what, I don't know what it is. I've got stuck with them barbs uh, that's on them, the little barbs. I've got stuck with them, and some, it makes you made me feel half sick or something. I don't know if it's just from, from getting stuck real bad with it, or if there's something in there, or what. But it does. It you know, it, it hurts really bad for a long time. It took a long time to heal too. Okay, Alexa. Why is Tennessee so humid? Here's something I found on the web. According to CourseHero.com, it is very humid in the summer and extremely hot and dry. Now wait a minute. It's humid in the summer and extremely hot and dry? How can it be humid and dry at the same time? Come on, you dropped the ball. You dropped it. Alexa, did you drop the ball? Here's something I found on the web. According to dailypress.com, <laughs> Bears running back Vic Inwery scored on a 55-yard run to ice the game, except he intentionally dropped the ball before he crossed the goal line. <laughs> intentionally? Ooh. Have y'all ever seen that movie Waterboy with Adam Sandler? That is a killer movie. If you haven't ever seen it, watch it. Okay. Joy wanted to know this. My Joy. 
Alexa, how many kilometers is 25 feet? 25 feet is 0 0.0076 kilometers. Zero, so, so a kilometer is, is longer than 25 feet, obviously. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's see. So let's just ask you this. Alexa, how many feet is in a kilometer? One kilometer is about 3,280 feet. Whoa, that's a lot more than I thought. That's a lot more than 25, but that's not what she... That's confusing, though. She said, okay, 3,280 feet. Is that right? <laughs> okay. Okay, Logan has some here. Alexa, how many years of college does it take to become a doctor? Here's something I found on reference.com. It usually takes somewhere between 11 and 16 years to become a practicing MD after four years at an accredited college and four years at a medical school. A doctor must complete a residency of three or more years. Wow. It's a long time. All right. Alexa. How many years of college does it take to become a dentist? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, to be a lawyer usually takes seven years of full-time study after high school and four years of undergraduate a study, followed by three years of law school. But if you are like my cousin Vinny, it could take it forever. Alexa, how many years does it take to become a dentist? Here's what I found on reference.com. A doctorate in dentistry generally takes a minimum of seven or eight years of post-secondary education. The education of most dentists follows a four-year undergraduate degree, admission to an American Dental Association accredited dental school program, and four additional years of study, including significant hands-on experience. My goodness. That's a long time, too. We need one around here. The most of them are closed. Ours is closed. And this is the only one that I can get to take my insurance that I know of. We've called a million. What, you know. We're not there. Hello, people's teeth are rotten. Okay. This is from Diane Vernia. Alexa, is it dangerous to look directly into the sun? Here's something I found on reference.com. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun is the primary cause of skin cancer, according to WebMD. Sun exposure also accelerates the age of the skin. Dr. Troy L. Beddinghouse notes that sun exposure may result in damage to the eyes. Oh. WebMD further notes that the sun results in the formation of precancerous formations on the skin, otherwise known as actinic keratosis. Cancerous elements on the skin include squamous cell carcinoma, melanoma and basal cell carcinoma. Melanoma is considered the most dangerous and is responsible for 75% of skin cancer mortality rates. Harsh sunburns before the age of 18 contribute to the development of melanoma. <laughs> Optometrist drive. Whoa. Huh? Optometrist doctor? Optometrist doctor, it says at the end. DR. Wow, I just looked at the sun. I didn't know I was going to get all that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alexa wants to, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, stop. According to Wikipedia, Brian Peter George St. John La Baptiste what? de La Salle Eno, RDI is an English musician, that? record producer, visual artist, <laughs> and theorist best known for Diane his pioneering Clark work in ambient music next and time. contributions to rock, okay. pop and electronica. Okay, stop. A self-described non-musician, Eno has... What is a Gretel eggplant? Here's something I found on dictionary.com. The noun eggplant is usually defined as a plant, Selena melangina esculentum, of the nightshade family, cultivated for its edible, dark purple or occasionally white or yellow fruit. Right. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for eggplant. Give me more definitions for eggplant. Alexa, give me more definitions for eggplant. I have two more definitions for the noun, eggplant. One, the fruit of this plant used as a table vegetable. Two, a blackish purple color, aubergine. Well, uh, 
I've got Gretel eggplants growing, but I don't know what you would say, you know, what is. It, they, they're small, they're only about, when they're ready, they're only, you're supposed to pick them at three or four inches. I let them get to at least six because they're just real little, I mean, they're not much bigger around than your thumb when they're ready, so, but they're delicious. So, that's my, that's all I know. Okay. California Karen wants to know one. Alexa, what is the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? Crocodiles have longer, pointed snouts, while alligator snouts are shorter and rounded. Alligators do not have salt glands, but crocodiles do, allowing them to live in saltier water. Crocodile scales all have small spots at the edge, but alligators only have these on their jaw. Ooh, let me get you. No, no, please, no. Ah. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they can kill you just as quick either one. Okay. Debbie Boring has this last question. Alexa, what is the difference between fangs and tusks? In mammalian oral anatomy, the canine teeth, also called dog teeth, Fangs, cuspids or eye teeth, are the relatively long, pointed teeth. Tusks, the 1990 movie. <laughs> tusks, the 1990 movie. <laughs> That's what she thinks tusks are, I guess. It was a 1990 movie. Well, did we see tusks? I don't remember if we saw that. I think it actually was a movie. <laughs> well, she says so. Sure. Uh, Alexa? Tell me a joke. What do you call an angry coach? A cross trainer. <laughs> cross trainer. Alexa, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the purple stegosaurus? It stuck out like a dinosaur thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, knock knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Beaver. Beaver who? Beaver, we bear, we quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Alexa. Knock, knock. Okay, here we go. Knock, knock. Who's there? Matthew who? Matthew do at home is called homework. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed tonight's Ask My Tablet. All you have to do to have another Ask My Tablet is leave me your, your questions in the comments, as many as you like. And uh, there's always a question you've always wanted to have an answer to. And I can get it right out of this little tablet here. So, appreciate everybody watching very much. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share, 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 share. <laughs> all right, everybody. I'm going to take it easy the rest of the night. We've been busy, as you can tell if you've seen my videos today. We've been busy. But I didn't rake any, so it's been raining anyway. So couldn't do it. All right, everybody. I will see you in the morning at Morning Devotions. God bless everybody. Bye. Say bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. bye.